fraction part of x, fraction part of x plus 1 by 3, fraction part of x plus 2 by 3 and I need to find fundamental period for this given function. Now what do you know? Fraction part of x, its period is 1. For x plus 1 by 3 also, its fundamental period will be 1. And for third one also, its fundamental period will be 1. So if I take the LCM of these three, then the period of the given function will be LCM of T1, T2 and T3. So there will be simply 1. But now in this case, we know that its period is 1. But is it its fundamental period? That's what we, we need to find out. So what you know is here, this x, it is displaced by 1 by 3. And then 1 by 3 is displaced by 2 by 3. And if I let 1 by 3 again to 2 by 3, it will become x plus 1. So what I'll do is I'll try and see if I can get the result of f x plus 1 by 3. So I'll replace x with x plus 1 by 3. I'll write it as x plus 1 by 3. Now here 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 will be 2 by 3. And here I can write it as x plus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3. Here will be fraction part of x plus 1. Now fraction part of x plus n is simply fraction part of x. So I can write it as, so this is x plus 1 by 3. This is x plus 2 by 3. And this is fraction part of x, which is nothing but fx. Now when we know fx plus t is equal to fx, then t is a period of this given function f. Now in this case, the value of t that I am getting is 1 by 3, which is less than 1. So fundamental period for this function is not 1, but the fundamental period for this given function is 1 by 3. So this function is periodic and its value is 1 by 3. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.